and welcome back to HBTV for the week of March 14th. I'm Caitlin Baker from Mrs. Weaver's class. And I'm Megan Kennedy, also from Mrs. Weaver's class. Thank you for joining us today. The word of the month is cooperation. Cooperation means the process of working together to achieve the same goal. The inspirational quote of the week is, Individually we are one drop, together we are an ocean. Now for the weather for the week. Today it will be cloudy with a high of 38 and a low of 20. On Tuesday, it'll be cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 13. On Wednesday, it will be cloudy with a high of 39 and a low of 27. On Thursday, it'll be cloudy with a high of 52 and a low of 28. On Friday, it will be partly sunny with a high of 54 and a low of 28. Now, here are the special events for the week. Today, there will be an Operetta Cats party. Today and Wednesday, there will be a field hockey clinic. There will be a PTA meeting on Tuesday. On Thursday, the Carol Dancers will be at our school to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And lastly, the morning program will be on Friday for grades EK through 2nd. Next is an interview with Ms. Burkhart and Ms. Rosek about last week's operetta. Is it okay if we ask you a few questions about last week's operetta? Of course. So what made you choose Junie B. Jones out of all the musicals that we could have chosen? Well, we wanted to make sure that we got the rights to a musical that had streaming rights because we weren't sure if we were going to be able to have a live audience this year. So when we looked through all the ones that had streaming rights, we had done many of them already. And I tried to find one that I thought would be the most engaging to the students on stage as well as the students in the audience. And we usually do a kid's version, which is about a 30 minute show, but Junie B. Jones was only available in a one hour version. But I thought that the content would really keep the, the participants as well as the audience engaged. What was your favorite part of Operetta? I loved that the kids have been coming to Operetta prepared. The last couple of years we've seen a real change that kids are coming from the audition day, that moment they're already prepared. Um. What advice would you give students who want to be an operetta when they're older? Oh, I think everybody needs to get a, give it a try. Oftentimes kids want to, but they're afraid to. And it always breaks my heart to think that somebody wanted to try it. And after the fact, they say, I wish I had given it a go. I just, if you, if you want to do it, put yourself out there. Everybody there is encouraged to be kind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and, and support one another. And that's the most important thing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Hi, Mrs. Burkhart. Can we ask you a few questions? I would love that. I love questions. <laughs> uh, why did you choose Junie B. Jones for this year's opera? Oh, you know, well, we figured that as fifth graders, you have been reading Junie B. Jones for quite a while. And it's funny, and it's upbeat, and we thought it would be perfect for the group of students we knew we would have come out for operetta. Mm. Uh, what was your favorite part about the show? Oh, mm, my favorite part of the show was um, how everybody has an important part. So everybody's part was important. If someone was not here, the show just wasn't the same. So I really liked how everybody got to be on stage all of the time. That was my favorite part. Uh, what would you say to the people who want to do it in upcoming years? Oh, try it. Just try it. Even if you feel nervous or you're worried uh, or afraid you're going to be embarrassed, I think if you ask anyone who's done operetta already, they'll say, just try it. Go for it. Right? It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for talking with us. Of course. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you, Ms. Burkhard and Ms. Rosak. That was a great interview. Now the lunch for the week. Today, first choice is cheeseburger on a bun and second choice is hot dog. Tuesday, first choice is taco salad and second choice is stuffed crust pizza. Wednesday, first choice is glucose chicken speedy sub and second choice is chicken nuggets. Thursday, first choice is pasta with meat sauce and second choice is chicken patty on a bun. Lastly, Friday, first choice is pizza crunchers with a side of pasta and meat sauce. And second choice is chicken nuggets. Good news for the week. Mrs. Hennessy sold out of the 700 bracelets for Down syndrome. If you want to buy more, she's buying 200 more for this week.
Just a reminder to all staff that bus safety is rescheduled for May and yearbook orders are due at the end of April. That sounds great. Hey Caitlin, why do leprechauns hate running? Why? Because they'd rather jig than jog. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for the week. Thanks for joining us today. And always remember, Spartan Country, reach for excellence!